All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a custom, completely making it from scratch, rolling shop table. Now this I'm gonna have at my uh, shed that I built. I had a fold up table in there that I've had for a while and used it for absolutely everything and I've completely trashed it. So I, instead of getting a whole new table, I'm gonna make my own and make it uh, put wheels, caster wheels on the bottom so I can roll it around and I can pull it out of the shed if I'm working on something outside of the shed. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now the goal here is we're gonna be using one and a half by one and a half, eighth inch thick, uh, angle out of regular carbon steel. So we're going to have a frame at the top and a frame for one bottom shelf and four legs, all one and a half by one and a half by eight. And then for the top, I'm planning on doing a piece of diamond plate for the top to cover the whole entire top. And uh, for the bottom, I'm planning on using that, but I have some diamond plate that I don't think I have enough. If I don't have enough, it's just going to be diamond plate on the top, and then the bottom we're going to use like uh, some kind of plywood or something, see whatever I have. So that's the goal here. So we're going to get all of the material cut and then weld it all together. The diamond plate is going to be uh, screwed into the top of the frame. So we're going to have a uh, drill, probably just four holes, one for each side, and planning on countersinking the holes in the diamond plate so the screws will be flush in the diamond plate. I thought about uh, tapping the hole in the uh, angle. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to use a, a nuts for that. And uh, weld uh, the top frame, the bottom frame, and then get the legs cut and weld those on. Then we're going to have to make a, a plate for each leg to mount the casters on. I haven't gotten those yet, so that'll be the last thing. I'll have to get the casters and then see how to, what uh, tap holes I have to do in that. And uh, then after that, it's ready to paint. And once it's painted, we put the diamond plate back on and then it's done. Only other thing I might do that I'm not 100% sure on yet is uh, handles. If I might put some handles or a bar or something like that on there, uh, that might be done in a later video. I'm not sure, but that's how we're doing the uh, roller shop table. And also it's going to be uh, 30 inches by 60 inches. So let's get some of this material cut up and get this thing on. All right, so we are at the shop. Just got the pieces of angle cut right here. That's all. Uh, cut two 30 inch long and two 60 inch long. And now we're about to cut notches out so they'll fit flush together. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that all that is done, we've got it laid out here and gonna get it tacked together, make sure it's square, and then go ahead and finish welding this. This is gonna be the top, and I'm gonna put the uh, diamond plate on this side of it. And uh, when I go to do that, I'll drill some holes and uh, probably put uh, a nut on here. I don't think I'm gonna uh, tap the angle. So, uh, but we're gonna drill some holes in here and in the diamond plate later when most of this is pretty much done and countersink the holes in the diamond plate so the head will be flush with the top of the diamond plate and it'll look really nice. So this is the top, that's what the diamond plate's going on. I've got to cut four legs and I ran out of material over there so I'm waiting on more material to come. It's supposed to be here tomorrow and I got to cut four legs and another one of these. And I do have enough diamond plate for this. I was planning on doing one here and one on the other shelf I'm gonna put on this, uh, but I only have enough for one. So I'm gonna put the diamond plate on here and I don't wanna have to buy a whole sheet of diamond plate just to do the bottom. So I'm probably gonna put uh, plywood on the bottom. 
so that should be fun. Uh, fun, fun, fine. It's been a long day. Uh, so that should be fine. So diamond plate on the top and then probably just wood on the second one. So I got to wait for the other material to come, but we're going to go ahead and get this uh, tacked up. So let's get that done. So just finished getting this welded together. So that's done. Now I need to wait until tomorrow to uh, get the rest of the material in here to finish cutting and I can go ahead and finish this thing up. So let's jump to tomorrow. All right, so I got more of my material delivered and we get the rest of these cut. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, bottom frame cut, which is gonna be identical to that. And then we're gonna cut the four legs, which I think I figured on being uh, 30 inches tall. So we're gonna get the other frame done, get the legs cut, weld the legs to the top, and then place the other frame wherever I decide I want it and get all that welded up. And then we're ready to move on to the uh, caster plates. But before we get there, I do have to get the caster. So let's get it, uh, the rest of this material cut up and welded and get the framework completely done. All right, so I am in the middle of welding, got everything cut tacked in place and now I'm ready to finish welding it up other than the uh, pl plates for the caster wheels I still got to do and the diamond plate. So here it is so far. Uh, it's uh, two inches up right there and the caster plates are just going to get welded on the end of the angle there. And then probably plywood is just going to sit in here. This is upside down. And then the diamond plate is going to get bolted to the top, which is sitting against the floor now. So let's go ahead and finish welding this. All right, so I do apologize. Usually when I'm doing uh, projects, especially like this, I do get a little carried away and completely forget that I'm supposed to be doing a video on this. So uh, we did get the frame done and I found some diamond plate that we're gonna use and I got that cut and found some material for the uh, caster wheels, which I also went out today and got. So here is the diamond plate. The diamond plate, this is the leftover piece I had. Went ahead and cut it on the bandsaw go over here so this is the piece this is uh this was used for something else and i think the width here was uh 33 or 34 and i think it was 30 it was 32 and a half i think is what it was and that's 30 so i went ahead and not worried about doing another cut on that That'll, it'll be a little bit of overhang which is good and then the length here that is 60 and I think uh, we cut this 62, so it's an inch uh, overlay gap, which makes that perfect. So I got that cut and deburred the edge and everything. And now we're over here. See, I've already been in the middle of this. It dawned on me. I haven't filmed in a while. So uh, what we're doing, these are the casters that I got. I got these from Harbor Freight for like five bucks. And it's just one threaded bolt right there, which is... Uh, uh, half 20 thread if you're wondering uh, so I have half 20 uh, nuts that I already had and I'm doing these just putting uh, one hole in here I'm drilling it uh, 9 16 diameter hole in all of these and I'm doing four for four legs so these oh this is a little warm 
So you just will slide over and then we'll put the nut on the other side. So these things, let's get crowded around here. We'll go on like this. Just gonna weld them on there like that, four of them. And once I get these welded on here, I can go ahead and take this thing home and start painting that and uh, I'll have to take uh, my drill and figure out what screws I wanna use and uh, do one, two, three, four holes in that, and then four holes in this, and then I'll have to countersink the holes in here, and whatever uh, bolt I end up using for that, I'll have to get a nut for it. So uh, I remembered I have one more of these left to do, so let's get this, show you what I'm doing. Then we're gonna go over there, weld them in place. I don't have my trailer here, so I'll have to come pick that up tomorrow, but I am gonna go ahead and take this home. So uh, let's get this drilled and weld these on, and probably tomorrow we'll load this up on the trailer, and hopefully at some point, maybe, because uh, I've got a lot of crap going on. I don't know what day I'll actually get to this, but uh, so we're gonna drill this last one, weld them on here, and then we're gonna work on mounting this to that and paint that. So let's do this. Oh, and I am just using uh, heavy duty cutting and tapping fluid because this is our other spare mill that we do odd jobs on when our other manual mill is uh, doing something. So I've got all of my crap down here and so I'm doing everything on this mill and we don't have coolant set up on this one. The only coolant that we have on the manual mill is on the other one. So that's why I'm using this. Oh man. This is what I get for trying to use my phone. Let's sit back up here. Stay. Alright, let's try that. Come on, man. we got through the drilling part. Good Lord. All right, so now we're gonna tip this thing over and weld the uh, caster wheel mounting plate on the bottom. Oh, and if any of y'all are wondering, this, it's not that heavy, maybe, I don't know, 40 or 50 pounds. I don't want anything like real heavy because there's not gonna be a ton of weight on this, but I didn't want to buy another table, but I wanted something somewhat durable. So this is what I come up with. All right, so let's get these things on here. Oh, and I don't know if you could tell from the last clip, I did these off center a little bit, so they're a little bit away from the angle. So I don't have any troubles with when I put the nut in on the other side.
there's nothing too critical about this. I'm just eyeballing it. MIG welding is not a great thing to do while you have a short sleeve shirt on. Sometimes the MIG welder will just pop when you go to weld. It'll like weld the wire to the end of the welder. So this is real fun. Oh God. Oh, there it went. That popped off. See? All right, back to this.
stand there for a little while. Yeah, there it is. One, this frame's done. All right, so got the frame completely done. Uh, 4.15. I think I might be able to go home real quick, get my trailer, come back, load the stuff up, and get home before my wife kills me. Uh, I'm going to roll the dice. Let's go get the trailer and load the stuff up. All right, we're at home picking up the trailer. Trying to honor this post. Alright. Oh. 2020 Silverado. Just got it doing a bunch of upgrades to it. If you're interested, be sure to check the other videos out. Let's get this trailer on here. Alright, so we're pulling back up at the shop now to get this stuff. Take it back to my house so I can finish it up. Alright, so let's get in here and get this stuff. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and load the frame, the diamond plate, and I found a piece of plywood. Right there, that's what's gonna be the bottom. So let's get this loaded up. Alright, so we've got our table here. Uh, I was thinking about painting this black, but I think I'm just going to leave it. Give it kind of like a industrial rustic type look. But it's completely done, and now we're going to put these casters on. And here's the casters, so let's get these on. This is just going right through the hole. And then I had the right nut to put on the back, so let's get these on.
All right, so we got these wheels on. Now we're gonna flip it over and get that cut and in place and then drill the holes for the diamond plate. So let's get that done. All right, so got that cut. Just took my saw and cut it uh, 59 and a half by 29 and a half. So it fit in there real good. So that's the bottom one. And now we're going to drill, sit this where it needs to go and drill four holes. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna countersink this. So these screws will be flush. using the screws I'm using. So let's get that done. All right, so got the diamond plate up here and got it in place with the proper uh, overlap that I want all the way around and went ahead and got my holes marked on all four sides. So now we're getting ready to drill and what I'm gonna do is just drill through this to mark a spot on the uh, angle on all four spots and then go ahead and move the diamond plate out of the way, then drill through the uh, steel angle, and then we're gonna countersink the hole in the diamond plate. And the drill I'm using is a 13-32nd. So let's go ahead and get these drilled. All right, so we got our holes in here and then went ahead and did them in the uh, angle. And now we're gonna put the countersink in there and countersink these holes. So this screw will go down in there and just sit flush on the top. So let's get these, uh, put the countersink in here and do this. Cannot get this thing to sit up. A little bit more. Alright, so it is super freaking hot today, but this thing's done. Just got a finish bolting these on and this is done. I think it turned out pretty nice. Diamond plate top and a whole lot more solid than my uh, table. And I got a, a top and a bottom I can put stuff on and I really like that I can just roll this thing around anywhere. Just pull it out of the way, push it over here, push it over here. If I'm doing something outside, like working on the truck, I can open the doors up and roll it outside and everything. So this job is done. The only thing next I gotta do is move all of my crap and project stuff on this table, which I'm gonna throw away because it's like, it's tore all up and you can see all this crap that's the other side's worse. And like the, the metal frames like coming off of that. So I gotta get all this stuff and uh, put it on here in the bottom. But I uh, actually have a little bit more uh, space here than I did with my other one. So uh, I think it turned out nice. What do you all guys think?
Let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Later.